black artists, writers, musicians, scientists, civic leaders, and educators. Well, that's Governor Spencer Cox sharing his message as Utahns prepare to recognize Juneteenth. The National Juneteenth Foundation says it is America's second Independence Day. Good afternoon. Dan Spindle, share a park here with you. A Juneteenth in Utah will take on an extra special meaning this year as Utah is recognizing Juneteenth as a state holiday for the first time. And it falls on a Sunday, so it'll be mm -hmm. Monday the 20th. Everybody will celebrate that day. News specialist Tamara Vaifanua tells us what's plan to celebrate the freedom of black Americans from slavery. Tamara. From the Gallivan Center here in Salt Lake to the Ogden Amphitheater, there are events happening all weekend long across the state to celebrate our nation's second Independence Day. Being a federal and now a state holiday is so important. For more than three decades, Betty Sawyer lobbied Utah lawmakers to recognize Juneteenth as a state holiday. It's a celebration of freedom which started in Galveston, Texas in 1865 when those enslaved got word that they had been freed over two years before. Her efforts paid off this past legislative session with backing from Governor Spencer Cox and Representative Sandra Hollins lawmakers made it official. Over the past couple of years, we have seen um, a lot of our history, in particular black history, come under attack. And um, so I think this is one way that we can go about acknowledging our history. It's a historic step Juneteenth organizers want Utahns to embrace. From the Ogden Amphitheater, there'll be music, food, and fun. We're going to have space tournaments, bingo, dominoes, cornhole. We're going to have all kinds of kids' activities. To Salt Lake County with parties downtown at the Real Salt Lake game and a health and wellness expo at the Gallivan Center. This is a big party, so come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I'm going to encourage you to please go out and celebrate, take your family, eat a lot of food, and have a lot of fun. There's a long list of activities for Juneteenth. We'll go ahead and put a link up on KSLTV.com. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua.